What happens to your gut bacteria when you combine GLP-1s with probiotics? Sounds like a biohacker's dream combo, right? But it's not that simple. GLP-1 medications like semaglutide or terzepatide slow down how fast your stomach empties. That means food and bacteria stay in your gut longer than normal. For some people, that can shift which bacteria thrive and not always in a good way. You might see more fermentation, bloating, or constipation, especially early on. Now, add probiotics into the mix, they can help rebalance things, but only if the strains actually match what your gut needs. If you throw in a random probiotic without knowing your baseline microbiome, you could feed the wrong bacteria or worsen symptoms. The key is personalization, knowing which microbes are out of balance before adding anything new. Because your gut on GLP-1s is already in a new rhythm, and the right probiotics can support it, but the wrong ones can make the ride a lot bumpier.